Hi there, I am Dr. Andrea Labuti, and today I am going to talk about autism meltdowns and intervention, what you can do to intervene. And um, the most important thing about uh, meltdowns, besides understanding uh, what the meltdown is all about, is how you intervene. And there are three things you need to consider. Your reaction, the safety of your child, and empathy. So those three things are really important, and um, the first one especially, and I'm going to describe that for you, your reaction. Now, I am a graduate of the Sunrise Program, S-O-N-R-I-S-E, the Sunrise Program up in Massachusetts. It's a wonderful, um, loving, respectful approach to autism, and I will never forget their um, advice on intervening when there's tantrums and meltdowns because it was so powerful and so simple. And um, if you know anything about the Sunrise Program, intervening in a tantrum is actually the opposite of what the Sunrise Program is all about. So, for example, the Sunrise Program, which is a program designed to um, encourage your child to want to join our world by being somebody that is um, very excited. You celebrate all the things that they do, even if they're tiny little things. Um, you're very big and demonstrative and excited, and you just want to like give your child a reason to want to connect with you by being a really interesting, fun person. Well, the intervention for a tantrum and a meltdown is the exact opposite of that. So it's you stay calm, you stay centered, you are very quiet in the way you talk to them. You're not big and angry and reactive. Um, you're the opposite. So for example, a child throws something against the window. You very matter-of-factly walk over there and say, hey, you know what? It's not okay to throw things. I get that you're really frustrated right now. Something must be really wrong or uncomfortable for you to have thrown that. So we can figure it out. But for now, let's just go over there and we'll pick it up. And if the child isn't ready because they're really having like a tantrum and they're having a fit, give them space. Just be calm. Make sure that they're safe. Um, but just give them say, give them space and just be someone that stands away from them and says, look, I am here for you when you're ready. Um, I can help you through this, you know, when they're, when they're ready to be um, helped through it. So your reaction should be very calm and very um, even keel and very supportive. Now, safety, I sort of started alluding to that um, a moment ago, but safety is not just the obvious, right? The physical safety, right? They can't be breaking glass and smashing things and, and you know, head banging. Um, but they should have um, emotional safety too. And that is the acknowledgement, right? The acknowledgement that, um, you know, they are obviously frustrated. They are um, obviously uh, really upset and that you are there to help them through it. So that really brings us into the third thing, which is empathy. Um, you know, expressing understanding, like who doesn't want to be seen and heard, right? And if something is bothering some, somebody, I know if I'm upset by something, I need a sounding board. I have a friend or a family member that can say, hey, you know, this is what happened to me and I'm really upset. And they can you know, talk you off the ledge and make you feel better and put things in perspective. Well, kids with autism are no different. Whether they are nonverbal or not, um, they are no different. And um, you may not think that your child is listening to you because maybe they have what we call severe autism and they're just sort of in their own little world, but they're having a fit. Trust me, they get and understand everything. So it is really, really important for you to um, let them know that, um, you know, you're sorry that they're really upset right now, but we'll get to, to the bottom of it together. Um, you can offer, I always offer my child, do you need a hug right now? I do that for all three of my boys. And, um, you know, almost nine times out of ten, my son with autism will give me a hug. My other kids may not, but he will. And it's just so nice to just breathe together and calm down. So those are um, pretty straightforward things you can do, right? Um, monitor your reaction, make sure your child is safe physically and emotionally, and, um, you know, get, be empathetic, you know, be empathetic to they are having a tough time and they're struggling and their life is hard and challenging sometimes. So, um, you know, important takeaway, they need to, to know that you hear them and that you respect them. So I hope this helps, um, pretty simple stuff, but it works, it's powerful, 
Um, let me know if you have any um, things that have worked for you by putting some comments um, down below. And I hope you'll come over to my website. It's andrealabuti.com. There's lots of free uh, downloadable things that can help you on your autism journey. I am here because I really want to help parents um, look at autism differently so these kids can learn um, or we can learn how to help these kids thrive and become their very best. Thanks for listening and have a great day.